by the broom with this guy's in the room how you doing guys this is Nick and I'm going to be doing a DVD review of Smackdown the 10th anniversary 1999 to 2009 free DVD box set as you can see uh, Rey Mysterio, The Rock, Batista, The Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero, Edge and Jeff Hardy on the cover and without further ado let's get into this review DVD one, right? This DVD collects moments from 100 to 70. These moments include the return of Hulk Hogan, so you must see uh, if you intend on buying this DVD. Insight into Hogan's return. Debut of the WWE Championship spinner belt that seen the debuted after winning the title from JBL. Definitely a moment you should check out as well. Rhino gorge Jericho through the SmackDown set. Another must see if you intend on buying this DVD. Funeral Home Brawl featuring Sori Wilson and Dawn Marie. It's a pretty tasteless segment. Wouldn't rate that at all. Other memorable moments featuring Eddie Guerrero, Mr. McMahon, Boogeyman, Kurt Angle, Mr. America, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Big Show, Mick Foley, DX and many more. Definitely all those segments are worth buying this DVD. Matches include, this is the matches, Undertaker vs Randy Orton, 16th to the 9th, 2005. Steel Cage match, Rey Mysterio vs Eddie Guerrero, 9th to the 9th, 2005. That's an epic match, definitely a, f an, a 10 out of 10. Definitely check this out if you want to buy this DVD, as that will give you a taster of the Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero rivalry. That was, in my opinion, one of the greatest of all time. Intercontinental title match, Chris Jericho vs China, 30th of the 12th, 1999, it's pretty cool. United States title, John Cena vs Carlito, 7th of the 10th, 2004, definitely one of Cena's best matches in my opinion. Definitely check this out if you want to buy this DVD. WWE Champion vs ECW Champion, Triple H vs Taz, 20th of the 4th, 2000, another must see if you intend on buying this DVD. Chris Jericho vs Hogan, 2nd of the 5th, 2002. A must watch if you intend on buying this DVD again. Batista, Rey Mysterio, Finley and Jeff Hardy vs MVP, JBL Kane and The Brian Kendrick, 3rd of the 10th, 2008. Another cool match. DVD 2. Moments include the Billy and Chuck commitment ceremony. Mr. McMahon's announcement of the NWO arrival. That's a uh, full segment with Mr. McMahon being absolutely out of his mind. The courtship of Eddie Edge, uh, Edge and Vicky Guerrero. A cool segment. Batista and Rey Mysterio's tag team championship victory and the emotional tribute to Eddie Guerrero. Definitely a tearjerker of a moment. And uh, we'll have you weeping if you want to buy this DVD. Other memorable moments featuring Jeff Hardy, Mr. Kennedy, Stacey Keebler, DX, John Cena, Rikishi and more. All are worth buying this DVD for. Matches include Undertaker vs. Kurt Angle, 4th of the 7th, 2002. A must watch if you intend on buying this DVD again. Steel Cage match, Eddie Guerrero vs JBL, 15th of the 7th, 2004. Definitely a five star classic, that one. And watch if you want to buy this DVD. Randy Orton vs Hardcore Holly, 25th of the 4th, 2002. Yeah, that's okay, nothing too special. Cruiserweight Championship match, Rey Mysterio vs Matt Hardy, 5th of the 6th, 2003. Definitely again. A must watch if you're a fan of the Cruiserweights and want to buy this DVD. Give you a taster of the Cruiserweight division exclusively on Smackdown only. Handicap Tables match, The Rock vs The Dudley Boys, 9th of the 3rd, 2000. Uh, it's a pretty cool match again, if you want to buy this DVD. Stone Cold vs Rob Van Dam, 6th of the 9th, 2001. Again. Pretty cool if you like that kind of uh, wrestling and the Alliance era. 
can if you want to buy this DVD, I re recommend this match. Team Angle versus Eddie Guerrero and Tajiri, Kenny Knight for the 5th, 2003. Pretty cool match in its own right. Nothing too special in my opinion. Uh, DVD free. This DVD includes the main match 39 to 1. No, it's include the Smackdown broadcast two days after the 9-11 tragedy. It's pretty an emotional uh, tribute to the victims. First ever tribute to the troops broadcast from Iraq. Stone Cold Steve Austin blowing up the DX Express. Definitely a uh, cool segment, that one. With Triple H going mad after his bus got blown up. McMahon's controversial victory over Triple H for the WWE title. Uh, yeah, again, if you want to buy this DVD, it's well worth it for that. First ever SmackDown broadcasts. Other memorable moments featuring Brock Lesnar, The Rock, Batista, Kurt Angle, Undertaker, Edge and more. All the worth again buying this DVD for. Matches included on this disc. WWE title match, The Rock vs. Triple H, 26th of the 8th, 1999. I think that was the debut episode of Smackdown. Definitely a must watch if you intend on buying this DVD. Give you a taster of the first ever Smackdown. <coughs> Cena vs. Angle, 27th of the 6th, 2002. Again, if you want to buy this DVD, definitely check this out as that will give you a taster of the Cena Kurt Angle rivalry. That was probably one of the greatest. World Tag Team Titles ma match between Billy and Chuck versus Edge and Hulk Hogan, 4th of the 7th, 2002. Cool Tag Team Title match, and again, if you want to buy this DVD, it's well worth it for that. Rock and Sock Connection versus the New Age Outlaws, 14th of the 10th, 1999. Again, if you want to buy this DVD, I'll rate this match. Intercontinental Championship match, Triple H vs Jeff Hardy, 12th of the 4th, 2001. Probably one of the greatest IC title matches of all time between Hardy and uh, Hunter. Definitely rate this. And disqualification match, Eddie Guerrero vs Edge, 26th of the night, 2002. It's pretty cool. Don't rate it, though. Handicap match. Zach Gowan and Stephanie McMahon versus The Big Show, 3rd of the 7th, 2003. It's pretty cool, nothing too special. And lots of other cool moments as well. I think probably my favourite moment on this uh, Smackdown DVD is probably the bit where they talk about uh, Head Cheese, Al Snow and Steve Blackman, and uh, the memorable uh, segments that them two were in, especially the one where uh, they're in an uh, elderly home and Blackman does some pretty uh, bad comedy and uh, this lady yells out you suck black man and he says you think I suck and uh, that led to Blackman uh, saying that's it you old bag and just threw nunchucks at her and uh, he ended up getting thrown out of the home <laughs> and uh, all the wrestlers, you know, were talking about that legendary team, you know. I think Matt Stryker said, you know, you could expect uh, a joke or two from Al Snow, but for him, it was Steve Blackman's just the stoic behaviour that was funny for him. And I think that was probably the case for me. I think Steve Blackman's uh, straight-faced personality was what made it the fun, funniest of the team for me, because... Steve would never smile, but deep down inside, you knew he was up to something. <laughs> That's what made that seem so funny. Al Snow being the uh, comical one, and Steve Blackman being the straight-faced guy. And I think that, in as I said before, in real life, it's actually reversed. Blackman's the more funny, and Al Snow's the more serious. It'd be interesting, to, as I say, to meet them and judge for myself. Definitely do like head cheese. They were definitely a uh, funny team that will go down in the history books. Just a shame that they didn't have a uh, 
title run with the tag titles because I think they'd have uh, really uh, had a good little run with them titles <laughs> especially with the chemistry Blackman and Snowhead that was my uh, Smackdown 10th anniversary 1999 to 2009 DVD review hope you enjoy it guys okay and as always like comment and subscribe and let me know if you buy this DVD or not bye guys